three local cities want to roll the dice on casino gaming in Hampton Roads. The state's listening. They just released their findings on gaming laws in other states. Let's start with the good news. The state says casinos would bring in a modest economic boost, roughly $270 million. $45 million would come from Portsmouth, another $50 million from Norfolk. Here's the bad. The report reveals the state's horse racing industry would take a hit. There's also pushback against the planned casino in Norfolk. Another petition is going around. The first one failed. This one did not. Chinu Her is following this story tonight. The Norfolk casino petitioners say tomorrow is a big day. They'll be presenting those thousands of signatures to city council. And once that's done, it's up to council to see what happens next. Norfolk continues to chase the idea of having a casino on the riverfront, but since approving a land sale to the Pamunkey Indian tribe, a group of citizens haven't given up their fight to petition and overturn that decision. People felt like this was just happening to them. They were not a part of, part of the process. Jackie Glass is one of the petitioners for the group Citizens for an Informed Norfolk. Together, they've gathered more than 3,000 signatures to block the deal based on a city charter. They only needed 1200 and the goal was to get the 1200 signatures just to be able to bring in front of the council so that they can make a decision as to whether or not you know they want to take a look at the repeal the ordinance or do nothing. This effort came after a previous effort failed to get enough signatures to force a repeal and send the decision to a referendum. The land sale agreement in September passed 701 with Councilwoman Andrea McClellan opposing it. Like many of the petitioners, she wanted there to be more public engagement before that vote happened. And there are people who really want to see this happen. There are people who really don't want to see this happen. But the one thing that they have in common is they want more information. So the, the abundance of signatures is indicative of people wanting to know more. She says that's what this is all about. It's not pro or anti-casino. It's about having the right process and allowing citizens to be engaged before moving forward with the big decision. Democracy works when you when you know what's there in Norfolk, Chinooher, 13 News Now.